What's up? So ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be breaking down the top 10 most overpowered weapons that have ever existed in Fortnite. Now fortunately for us, Epic Games is really on the ball. And usually when there's anything that's broken, overpowered, or just completely flawed, Epic Games is not only, not only good at it, but very quick at fixing that issue. But when the issue hasn't been fixed, when the weapon hasn't been balanced, it's often a pretty chaotic time, and there have been quite a few different weapons that we've seen in Fortnite with that exact issue. A weapon that is fun, gets you a lot of kills, but at the end of the day is fundamentally broken. And today, as you could probably see by the title, we're gonna be looking at the top 10 of them. Now before we do get into the video, I just wanna quickly mention, uh, we're running a sale on G Fuel for 40% off. G Fuel's my sponsor, if you don't know, it's like an energy drink that's for more like gaming and stuff like that. No sugar and all that stuff. Um, anyways, if you're interested, coupon code SMITH40, uh, get yourself 40% off, that's gonna run till Tuesday. Other than that, um, enough selling out. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to start things off with something that I have a feeling is going to be shocking to a lot of you guys. And this is the white, just straight up common assault rifle. So back in the OG days of Fortnite, the headshot multiplier for automatic assault rifles was 2.5. Now, I really don't think I need to say much more than that. The white assault rifle now does 30 damage per shot, but it used to do 32, um, and basically 32 times 2.5 is 80. One headshot of the AR was 80 damage. Can I just say that is like as much as a hunting rifle does now. The white assault rifle now does 60 damage per headshot, which in my opinion is a much more balanced amount. And to make matters even worse, the green assault rifle did 33 damage per shot, giving it a total damage per headshot of 83. The blue AR used to do 35, which is as much as a scar will do now. And the headshot multiplier gave it a, a single headshot would do 88 damage. Fundamentally flawed, will you say? There's gonna be an underlying theme you're gonna find in this video that some of the most basic and common weapons of the old Fortnite were some of the most overpowered. And in my opinion, the white AR was absolutely one of them. Okay, so moving down to our number nine spot, this is going to be the RPG. Now, while the RPG really hasn't changed as far as actual statistics go, the one thing that I will say of how this used to be a lot more overpowered than it is today, um, is kind of can be broken down into two components. The first is that Fortnite significantly reduced the spawn rates on these things, so you're much less likely to get an RPG than you used to. I think the odds actually used to be like double what they are now, so much less likely to see. And there was a reason for this. Back in the day, people were not the pro builders that they are now, and the RPG was actually very uncounterable. I don't wanna say that you couldn't counter it, but nobody knew how because no one could really build. So while it was a lot more common in the day, the other thing you have to think about of why this was overpowered at the time was just the simple fact that you, it was just point and aim and kill. It was very, very hard to counter this. Then moving down to our number eight spot, guys, this is going to be the Boogie Ball. So really, the Boogie Bomb hasn't changed much. It does the exact same thing as it used to. But the big difference in, in today's modern Boogie Bomb, if you will, is that it used to actually last for 10 seconds, and it was it was pretty flawed. I mean, if you think about it nowadays, the Boogie Bomb only lasts five seconds. So you, you really have a limited time to throw it and get that kill. You have to be very, um, you had to be very concise with the way you used it, but back when it was 10 seconds, well, I mean, there was just a, a much bigger window where your person was neutralized, and I mean, it was just a lot easier to kill somebody. And on top of that, Boogie Bombs also used to actually be green instead of blue, so less rare and better is what they used to be. It was pretty overpowered. Okay, now moving down to our number seven spot, guys. This is actually something that still exists in Fortnite today. So while I do believe that Fortnite today is incredibly balanced, I wanted to point out what I believe to be the most broken slash overpowered thing currently in the game. That is the grenade launcher. Not only would I say that the grenade launcher is overpowered, I would also say that I feel like it's underrated. If I have the choice of a grenade launcher or an RPG now, I'm almost explicitly going to go with the grenade launcher. This is just for the simple fact that one RPG can send out about a hundred damage worth of, worth of damage. While a grenade launcher can send out not one hundreds worth, 
but 600's worth because you go tink, tink, right? You can send 600 damage down at the enemy. So the first few grenades can soften up their walls and their base, and then the other three or whatever is going to actually kill a few people. Now maybe if you have a team of four people with RPGs, you can send them that way, and then you know swap out to a scar, wait for them to break, and you know take them down, but the grenade launcher is like a single man four-man RPG team. And I gotta be honest, I, I don't think that it needs patching, but if there is one thing in Fortnite that I believe to be still overpowered, I would definitely say it's the grenade launcher. But please, Epic, don't don't fix it. It's perfect. I love it. I seriously don't want that thing to get touched. It's, it's just... Mm. Anyways, moving down to our number six spot, you guys. I've talked about this a little bit in the past. I'm sure you're obviously all gonna be very familiar with it. It is the double pump. So while I have gameplay of the double pump, I feel like I was never good enough to really highlight what this 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 combo could do. The gameplay you're gonna be seeing is from the one and only Daquan, and uh, he was kind of like the master of the double pump. For those of you that didn't know, basically the weapon swap between the double pump used to be faster than, like, significantly faster than what it would take to actually pump it back. So you could swap between two and shoot uh, at about the rate of attack. And the other thing you really have to consider what made the double pump so OP was that you were dealing with uncommon and common weapons here. The heavy shotgun has sort of the same attributes as the double pump, but you're dealing with a legendary and epic weapon versus something that you're gonna find like almost guaranteed at the start of a match. Now although the double pump was amazing and, and really fun to rock when you were good with it, I'm, I'm genuinely glad they took it out because after seeing the re it being removed, that was kind of when I firstly realized like, wow, this, this is actually, uh, it was pretty broken. It wasn't until it got removed did people say like, okay, yeah, that was insane. Moving down to our number five spot, ladies and gentlemen, we've got the guided missiles. Now I've made an entire video about why I thought these were broken, why they needed to be removed, and Epic actually ended up removing the guided missiles. I'm not suggesting that I had anything to do with that, but I think we as a community kind of all expressed our, our opinion about them, and I'm really glad that Epic decided to put them in the vault. That being said, the guided missiles were, they were really cool to just stroll around and and get free kills, but it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't Fortnite at its core. To sit in a building and just control this guided thing was just, it's not fun, it's not what the spirit of Fortnite, in my opinion, was all about. Um, I got a full video on it if you want to watch that, but I think we could all agree that guided rockets are very, were very overpowered. Okay, so moving down to our number four spot, guys. While this isn't the most overpowered thing that has ever existed in Fortnite, I would say that this is the most interesting. So if you recall back to the start of this video, we talked about how all automatic assault rifles would do 2.5 times the damage when you landed a headshot. And I talked about how the white AR did 80 damage per headshot. Okay, well, what if you take not a common automatic assault rifle, what if you take the best automatic assault rifle in the game? Well, you, kind sir, or, or woman, are going to get the the most overpowered and, and amazing thing that realistically existed in Fortnite. Say hello, ladies and gentlemen, to the gold scar. So back in the day, the purple scar did 37 damage per shot and the gold scar did 39. Okay, now that's only a three point difference, but it really is a lot when you're considering 2.5 times the damage of the headshot multiplier. I only need to do the math on this one. So 39 times 2.5 is 98. That is to say that one headshot of the gold scar would do 98 damage. Not to state the absolute obvious, but that is two off of 100. Two headshots in a row, you are down to four health from full shield. The Gold Scar now does 72 damage, which I also want to point out is now less than a white AR used to do, but again, it, it's it's much more balanced. Automatic assault rifles now do two times the damage and they all got like a two point or so uh, decrease in damage. So they're overall much more balanced, but back in the day, man, the Gold Scar was just like stupid. I also just want to give credit and a shout out to Stode, who's the guy uh, that you were seeing the gameplay on. I didn't have any Gold Scar gameplay and apparently uh, no one else that I know did. So um, check this guy out. He's like a smaller YouTuber, but not completely small. Um, and he makes good content. So anyways, shout out to him for the gameplay. And 
Ye. Okay, so we're gonna come down to our number three spot, guys, and this is something that I feel like has it's really just been, been beaten to death by the Fortnite community, but it, it's the Zapatron. I've talked about this in a separate video, I've talked about this in a few other videos, and I really don't want to hit home too much on it, but basically it was a, a laser gun that did 150 damage anywhere on the body per shot. It was only in the game for like a day, um, and it was truly overpowered. Okay, now moving on to our number two spot. Uh, you may be a little bit familiar with this, you may have seen it on the thumbnail. Uh, this is gonna be Mr. Thanos, the big mean guy with the really powerful glove. I guess technically our number two spot would go to the Infinity Gauntlet if you want to be technical, but Thanos, the Infinity Gauntlet, this character within the game. Okay, so where do you want to start on this one? Um, the fact that he has a laser beam, the fact that one melee shot does 80 damage, or I know he has a thousand overall health, and 300 of that regenerates every time he gets a kill. Yeah, you know, I would say that Thanos is, uh, pretty overpowered. Now, I would argue that there are some drawbacks to using Thanos, as one, um, he's got a pretty big hitbox, two, everybody wants to kill you, and three, you're actually highlighted on players' compasses, so it's gonna draw a lot of people to you. That being said, though, I think there's no denying, regardless of the drawbacks of using Thanos, he is quite overpowered. Also, I gotta give another shout out on gameplay. This one goes to Mr. Avery himself. Um, you guys probably know him, but I also recommend you check him out. Anyways though, let's uh, let's get right down to our number one spot. It's lame, I know, but it is the pencil and blueprint. So the most overpowered thing in Fortnite is the thing that makes Fortnite great, and that is building. There's a rule I've heard Daquan say when he was at kind of the peak of his double pump use, when everyone was just like, the double pump is ridiculous, it's the most overpowered thing currently in the game. He said no. At the end of the day, no matter how overpowered any weapon is, no matter how good a player is, can always be countered by building. And in my opinion, I think that is the most true thing I've ever heard in my life. Building is and will hopefully always be the most overpowered thing in the game. If someone's got a bunch of ARs or grenade launchers or guided missiles, building will counter. If someone's got a scar that does 98 damage, well, I mean, you can still counter that. Now, some might argue that Thanos is better than the ability to build. I would say he's close, but not quite. If you think about day one of Thanos being in the game, all you had to do to beat him was actually build a sky base because his laser wouldn't actually reach you. On top of that, if you play your cards very well, you can actually use building to, to get an upper hand on him and beat him. It's not easy, but given the right player, a, a strong builder will always win. And I think that's just the, the, the law of Fortnite. Anyways, I know it's kind of lame. You're probably expecting this crazy power weapon that you've never heard of before. But at the end of the day, it's always going to be building. And just as a side note, when I do research on these videos, I like to browse a bunch of different websites. And I had building at number one, but I saw someone phrase it much cooler. They're like, you know, this is powerful and this is powerful, but really the most powerful thing is the pencil blueprint. I was like, ah, that just sounds so much cooler than just to say building. Anyways, we're gonna wrap it up there, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I just want to say I'm really close to 2 million subscribers, so if you're new and you were thinking about subscribing, um, that would be a little, like, I don't know, maybe that's extra incentive. I, I, you know, whatever. But I would really appreciate it if you did subscribe. We're, we're very close. Um, so that would be awesome. Other than that, thank you guys very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you Saturday, hopefully. Uh, yeah, that's it. Peace.